Hi! Um, so if you know anything about me, I love my D&D character Honey, and I also have just learned how to make notion boards. So I've made a cool little combination of a notion board with my character Honey, and I'm going to show you that today. Let's get into it. So we start out with uh, the name of my campaign, Liv Moss, and a quote from Honey, which when Honey said this, it broke everyone's hearts. That's what I like to do in DD is break people's hearts. Uh, but beside that, um, we have a link to my character sheet in DBD on, which one thing that's great that I found out about Notion is that you can literally link any web page. Um, we also have some artwork from Vin Studio, who I will also link in the description. Uh, that I had commissioned of Honey, and I just, I love this character so much. They're so much fun. I love them. Um, but most importantly, I wanted a notion that kind of like had everything in your face. So you didn't have to go searching or digging for anything. So I wouldn't have to go digging through the different links to try and find what I was looking for. Um, but we'll start. We'll go column by column. Uh, so we have the DD character beyond sheet. We have the the commissioned artwork from Vin Studio. Uh, I have my proficiencies and languages kind of listed out here, just easy to view. Uh, my defenses, which I also listed out where they came from. Um, and important things to note for my character Honey. Some of these are DM stuff as game specific so it's not always going to be like that for your plasmoid or your plasmoid warlock so going back up top i have the main bit section we have honey level six plasmoid warlock and then we're going to go into features and traits which links to another page um and this has all of the features and traits plus the class rules and the race info for honey um so i have otherworldly patron and you know it's easy it opens the best thing about notion is that you can open a page and it doesn't open it uh all the way it like opens it can open half a page like i'm showing you right now um that way you're not having to dig through multiple pages and having to go back multiple times to try and get something um but yeah so we have you know my otherworldly patron my packed magic uh just Descriptions of what each thing is, uh, racial racial traits, which uh, amorphous is probably my favorite racial trait I've ever played with. It's so much fun. And then feats that I've taken, which I've taken telekinetic uh, and magic initiate, which came from my um, background. And then we can go to my spellbook. So. I wanted something minimalistic on this, um, so I have a lot of spells because I'm the Pact of the Tome Warlock, uh, but I have my casting, my spell save DC, and my spell attack bonus, as well as the packs that I've used. Um, because I'm a warlock, I don't get a lot of spell slots, um, but I have a lot to choose from as you can see um honestly hunger of hadar and spirit shroud really good <laughs> really good spells as someone who has never played DD, these two spirit shroud and hunger of hadar have saved me multiple times um also crown of madness that one's also really fun to play with <laughs> So back to the central part, I have just the main stats, the AC, uh, my initiative bonus, my HP, my speed, my proficiency bonus, and my hit die, um, as well as my uh, skill stuff. Uh, so I have these under toggles so they don't take up a bunch of space, but I have like if I'm proficient, and the skill, and the bonus, and if I have advantage, um, I also have one under saving throws, which they it's so easy to just look at and then forget about, and then look at it again. It, I love these toggle, the toggle headings are just so 
useful. They're so useful. Um, and then I have senses, which, yes, I know, my, my passive perception is really bad, I know. It's okay, though. Honey's not supposed to be super perceptive, it's fine. Um, and then I have some actions, and my bonus actions, which I also have this checkbox to show when uh, I've used my elemental gift. Uh, but yeah, also, if you're playing a plasmoid, and you're not using the pseudopod bonus action, shame on you. <laughs> it is so useful. I love it so much. Um, and then to the last part, this campaign has been going on for over a year. So we've had people leave, we've had people join, um, and then we've had people die. So I just have the current party as of right now, um, and then past party members just to pay uh, pay respects to those who are no longer being played or is no longer a part of our campaign. Um, so we have inventory. I think I'm gonna tweak this just a little bit um, so it shows like I can calculate how much I have but I don't really understand the money aspect of D&D like it 10 silver equals a gold and then Hundred, uh, 10 gold equals a platinum, I think, but like, it, my brain does not work like that. Anyways, <laughs> so within I have the items I have on me, my inventory, so we have a uh, Ziba, which is, I have a custom uh, tag for items that are custom to the campaign. Um, and then I have like, common, uncommon, and just whenever I get something like, wondrous or rare i'll add it in as another tag um and then i have our bag of holding which has become just a uh weapons arsenal <laughs> but uh yeah so i also i have the weight of each thing as well as the quantity of how many we have um i think that's everything honestly i think i've gone through anything um but yeah, I just wanted to make something super, like, easy to look at that doesn't really overwhelm you. It doesn't overwhelm me, but, like, I get if it, not everyone likes this type of Notion style. Um, but I think that this works for me, and I hope that maybe you can find a Notion template that works for you. And if this gets, um... A lot of good feedback then maybe I'll release this template for other people to use but yeah um I think that's all I had so I will see you guys next time bye I don't know what I'm doing I don't know how to record a video look at these dice I got look at them they're they're glow in the dark they're so cool <laughs>